Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me, Sophie G, and today I'm going to be recreating my teenage style. So, I feel like isolation, being in isolation, has made people regress in many ways. I've seen people making like for like statuses, tagging people in like challenges, and even just like cutting and coloring each other's hair like we're in high school again. I don't know, I used to do that a lot in high school with my friends. I feel like I too have somewhat regressed, particularly in that I dyed my hair pink because <laughs> when I was around 14-ish I was just desperate to dye my hair pink because this was my this is my soft grunge tumblr blog phase. Inspired by this regression I've been looking at um, photos I have of myself when I was around 16 years old when I would post a lot of photos of my outfits on uh, Instagram and I was like I'm gonna recreate them you know especially because embarrassingly enough I still pretty much have like all the clothing items that I had at the time so I'm interested to see how I'm gonna feel about wearing these outfits now because obviously I was very proud of them as I documented them on my Instagram page but also I still have all these items and a lot of them I still wear fairly often so it'll just be interesting to see how I've really changed the way that I style certain items also it'll just be fun to go down memory lane so let's go I actually really like with my hair. I think they match, you know, it's a very grungy look. Very soft grunge. Tumblr. This is so badass. I do not dress this badass anymore. Oh my god. So we've got denim jacket. I didn't have this around that age, but this is very much something I would have loved. Especially the patches. Nirvana, Pink Floyd. This flannel. Also didn't have when I was 16, but it's very similar to one I had in terms of colour and um, size and that it fits nicely under a um, denim jacket. It's a Beatles t-shirt I did have at the time. Sorry, um, due to the space in my flat, you're only going to be able to see the top half of my outfit pretty much, unless I pan the camera down, which I might. So just know in terms of shoes and everything. I'm wearing docks for all of these outfits. That's what I would have been wearing. Chokers. I always wore chokers. Every single day of my life around this time. I usually wear like two or three necklaces. I often had charm ones. This wasn't my favourite charm choker. I had one I actually have like this. But obviously on a string. I bought this because my favourite charm choker I jumped a bridge into the lake wearing my favorite choker and it snapped and fell off obviously but you know I didn't didn't think of that and I lost it and I tried to make another one but I never got around to it this one's also pretty too and of course tattoo choker an absolute necessity and we've got black jeans yeah so <laughs> like I said this kind of feels real badass. I feel like the pink hair makes it look more badass than when I wore it back then. I've also got a nose ring now which I didn't have when I was 16. So I look super punk. I kind of dig it. does not really feel like me anymore. It's a lot of black. I don't wear a lot of black but you know aesthetically I, I appreciate it. Okay second look kind of iconic because in the photo my hair is so amazing as you'll see. So the way the outfit looks in the photo I really like it. The way it looks on me now I am not so sure. Not sure if this whole choker thing with the, the chest works as well with the bob as it does with the, the long flowing Stevie Nicks hair. Anyway this green cardigan was a staple in my wardrobe back in the day. My friends, some of them, 
didn't like it. <laughs> they called it my dog fur. I think it's so cute. I need to start wearing this again. Like it's actually really nice. It's kind of itchy but I don't know. I, I love the green and I love how big and oversized it is. I think it's really cute. Got the choker combo going on again but we've added this beaded blue necklace that I used to wear quite a lot too. By the way I never really wore earrings at this time which is crazy to me now because I wear earrings all the time. This blue camisole thing. Sorry about my bra straps, can't be bothered changing them. I wear this all the time still. I think it's really nice. These shorts which are actually vintage Calvin Klein. They are a lot smaller on me now than they used to be. They're a little bit too small maybe. I still wear them nowadays because I don't want to give them up, you know, they're really cute and then they're Calvin Klein, so, you know, and, you know, they I fit into them okay. Another iconic look for teenage me was denim shorts with black tights. So this is very, very on brand. I don't know about this outfit, I think it's actually quite cute and not that dissimilar to what I would wear now, but I'm just not sure how flattering this part of the aesthetic is with the short hair. So this outfit is actually quite a bit different, well not really. The pieces are different than what is in the actual outfit because I don't have the dress in it anymore. It's way too small for me so I gave it away and this is a slightly different jacket. Another thing I wore a lot was just charm chokers and sometimes I'd be a bit more pared down just wear the one. This was probably my favourite one, this star one here. Honestly, still really cute. This pinafore I actually only just got for my birthday. My mum made it for me. The style was quite different I think than the one I'm wearing in the photo which was like an actual school dress that I found second hand. But the colour and print and sort of vibe are similar I guess. And then this jacket. I do not like the way this dress looks with the jacket. That looks so weird to me how that's just like eh. and then the jacket real baggy. Not a fan. Doesn't look the same as in the photo. Um hello. I actually now that I'm looking back at the footage I don't think it looks that bad. I guess it looked a bit different on the on the camera, I guess. Just thought I'd add that in. But I think this looks kind of cute and grungy without the jacket. It's very like schoolgirl kawaii aesthetic sort of. Yeah, I think it works with the choker. This isn't how I would wear it nowadays, I don't think. It's a bit, I feel like my style's a bit more mature now. This is a bit like schoolgirl, which I like, but Maybe not so much like this. It's, it's very me when I was 16 though. I would have ate this shit up. So because it's more like swing sort of dress, nowadays I definitely wear it more of a kind of 60s style sort of way. So yeah, cute but not me as a 22 year old woman. Not 21, I'm 22 now. recreated this outfit to be a bit cuter than the one in the picture. I didn't have the shirt that I'm wearing in that one anymore so I changed it to this Doors one which because it's got a similar cut. Obviously the one in the photo I chopped up myself which is something I did a lot with t-shirts from secondhand stores. In hindsight they don't look very good so obviously <laughs> this one looks a lot better. I would have liked this one at the time too because it's the Doors band t-shirts. Love that shit. Another choker combination. Tattoo choker with another of my favourite charm chokers which is satin. Also still think these are quite cute honestly. This blazer which has different pins on it now. This has a bit of history actually. It's actually the blazer my dad wore to my parents wedding. It's a lot shabbier now than it was then. They didn't have a big like white wedding but she's old now. Honestly I haven't worn this in ages. She's pretty cute. And the pink and the pins is like vibing with my hair. Love that. It's got the same skirt and belt. I still wear this a lot. It's a really cute skirt. She 
fits me a lot better now than it did back then. Orange corduroy. I feel like I've worn this as an outfit quite a few times. I know that this is good and I like this. I actually like the way it looks with the blazer as well. It's kind of a nice muso shabby kind of look which um, always something I go for but I do do love a blazer gone casual. If I was to wear this nowadays I wouldn't go for the chokers. I'd do more of a dainty sort of jewellery thing which I um, usually do these days like a gold chain and my gold Aries charm necklace. That's more my jewellery vibe these days. Or I'd skip the necklaces and do some like real big statement earrings. Could be tweaked to be more me currently but chokers are definitely not my current vibe. For this outfit I had to alter a little bit as well because I don't have that shirt anymore. I actually have no idea what happened to it. It was like a children's t-shirt that I just wore is a crop top and I really loved it but it just disappeared unfortunately. So this time we've got two tattooed chokers. This one is clear, well it's meant to be clear. It used to be a lot more white. It's gone a bit yellow with age. And then the black tattoo choker, thingy shirt. It says thingy knows best but knows is spelled like N-O-S-E, like a nose. But that fits the similar kind of like child cartoon vibe of the t-shirt. Got these denim overalls. Short overalls. Whoop! Because they are the ones I had. I still have them. I actually thought this was going to look better on than it does. When I saw this outfit I was like oh yeah that's totally something I would wear. So it's gonna be great and I'll love it. But the cut of this t-shirt like kind of sags at the front so it just doesn't look that good under overalls unless really make sure to place it right. Also not a huge fan of the way these chokers look. Maybe it's the length of my hair. I feel like they make my, my neck look real short and weird. <laughs> so yeah I think without the chokers this might be more of a vibe. Overalls are really something I really like. I probably like overalls more so now than I did back in the day. The idea is right. Chokers just not my thing anymore I guess. Or just the way my hair is at the moment. They just don't look right. I don't know. In the photo for this one it doesn't show the bottom half but I'm pretty sure I remember this one quite well because I wore it to closing night of my high school production of The Wizard of Oz in which I played The Wicked Witch of the West. That has stuck in my memory because it was a great time in my life. The famous star choker pigtails in the photo. This like lizard green top. I actually bought this for a school dress up day where we had to come dress as a character or something and I dressed like Lizzie McGuire and I remember a girl at my school who was a real bitch was like that's a weird top and I've kept it all these years and I love it so hey denim jacket and this A-line skirt which is the same skirt I wore with that outfit. I actually really like this. I think this is cute. I might actually wear this now. I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it's not super different than me now. The choke is not too bad. It's got the cute wee charm. The pink here looks really nice with the green I think. Like, I like the way they look together. The jacket suits well too. And the skirt is cute. So I don't know. This is probably my favourite one so far. And it also looks cute without the jacket. It's definitely a little bit on the school girly side but I don't, it's kind of enough that I don't feel like it's less mature than my current style even despite the pigtails. Pigtails are cute. Yeah I actually like it more with the pigtails than this hair. Like I said, chokers and this hair just don't work for me for some reason. 
for my last outfit I thought it might be fun to create an outfit using clothes I didn't have when I was that age and try and create an outfit that I think I would have liked so that is what I've done I've added the choker just so we're on brand because there were no outfits in that um, section that didn't have chokers put on my favorite one the star the one I would be most likely to wear nowadays I wanted to wear my Nirvana shirt I've got a Nirvana shirt that's black and it's got the kind of a, a still from the MTV Unplugged concert on it which I got last this year last year end of last year but I think it's in the wash so the Pink Floyd one will do because I also liked Pink Floyd and it's also a band t-shirt that's black also added this mesh long sleeve top uh, I think I got it at the end of 2016 this is very very goth looking so nice and then this plaid pattern skirt that I got from Glassons earlier in the year it's definitely tighter than I think I would have gone for back in the day back in the day I would have gone for a more of an A-line schoolgirl style sort of thing the pattern is right so who knows maybe I would have liked this it's definitely more like 90s businesswoman <laughs> this is a little bit more my style I think without the choker I'm gonna take it off that's better this is something I'm more likely to wear now I guess I don't know if it really is though it's, it's very dark and a lot of color I don't I think I would wear this but I wouldn't feel totally like myself in it to be honest in my normal clothes now. So that little trip down memory lane was honestly a bit weird. <laughs> I definitely did not feel like myself in those outfits which is really interesting because back in the day that is what I felt myself in. That is what I wanted to express to the world that I was like. So it's interesting how much can change and what six years wow crazy it does feel like a long time ago though the biggest thing that I was uncomfortable about which I think was clear from the footage is the chokers which is so funny because they were such a staple in my wardrobe for so long like up until 2016 even possibly partially due to the fact that my hair is a lot different now it's short it's in a bob whereas before it's really long and um, flowy and like hippie-ish I guess they just make my neck look weird I think is is the thing it just doesn't really compliment me in the way that I would like I still do have a have a strong aesthetic appreciation for them part of me wishes that I still <laughs> like to wear them because when I look at them I'm like oh thank you but then when I wear them I'm like no it's not me it's just not me anymore but great for um, dress ups and all that shit so really good to have them you never know maybe one day I'll, I'll be back at that sort of fashion era I guess also a lot of black which is definitely not me anymore I do not wear a lot of black I like color like big gaudy patterns that just didn't have a lot of that it's a lot of more like earthy colors I guess patterns minimal the, the most out there pattern was um, plaid which is you know grunge also the lack of earrings is disturbing as someone who now is um, a major earring addict can you see my earring display right here a really an integral part of an outfit for me now so it's weird not to wear them there's definitely still some some consistency there I haven't completely changed still like a bit of plaid obviously still like a band t-shirt still like a bit of denim every now and then I think my favorite outfits were definitely the green shirt one was probably my favorite I think that the first outfit looked good but it really was not 
so much me anymore. I think it worked though. I think the other looks weren't quite as flattering. I think I do a better job nowadays of wearing things that are more flattering. Not that I actually care that much, but you know, I have better quality clothes now. I don't go to secondhand shops and chop up t-shirts and just wear them. So there's also that sort of difference as well. Overall, I clearly had a very strong sense of my personal style then and I still have a very strong sense of my personal style and it's interesting to see how they have in some ways not very drastically changed but in many ways they have and I feel like without really trying my style has become more mature as I become more mature so that's interesting as well. I hope this was interesting for people to watch, maybe to reflect on their own personal style journey. Now that we're in isolation, it's the per perfect time for self-reflection and all that jazz. If you did enjoy this and you do enjoy fashion content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. That is, fashion is an important part of my identity and something I'm very interested in, so I plan to make a lot of fashion-y sort of videos. So do stick around if you are interested in that. Again, thank you very much for watching and see you later.